Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to have a look at uh, an app called On Stage from uh, developer Patrick Angle. Okay, so this app is for use uh, in uh, theatre or if you've got a drama group or uh, this would be amazing for schools who are putting on plays and stuff. It allows you to build up a, a, a scene of sound effects that you can play in any order you like at the same time, or you can get them to, if, if and, and you're kind of unlimited, you can go on and on and on until your device runs out of memory, basically. Okay, so it comes with a couple of uh, free scenes for you to test out sort of thing. Uh, this is one of them. Um, and it, I don't know how if you've ever been involved with the theatre, uh, any kind of theatre production where you use sound effects. Usually, used to use CDs, uh, maybe three or four CD players, trying to trying to mix them all together, taking up loads of space on your soundboard. Anyway, your mixer or MP3 players now, and people would try and and you'd sit there for hours and hours and hours. You'd build up these scenes, and everything had to be timed perfectly. Otherwise, you'd be it'd be a right mess. But now this app makes it very very simple. Plugs into one stereo channel on your mixer, obviously. Great for sound guys, uh, great for people who can try to control the sound, very simple. Uh, if we play this first one, which is London Street. You can actually uh, sample, you can see it's 20, uh, 30 odd seconds uh, uh, long. Sorry, uh, no, it's 35 seconds long. If we play it from the beginning, it will play for a full 35 seconds. You can see how long's left, you can see how long of time has elapsed. Same with this. London cars. You can mix, uh, and so you can see now you get all your effects going. Pretty simple church bells. We could pause those. Now there's a clock ticking there. You get the idea. You build up your scene. You set up your things. Excuse the noise in the background. They're putting windows in. Okay, so first of all, um, you can hit this little folder here and you'll get Sound of North from JFK, which is different uh, public domain speeches and stuff. Um, and The Woman in Black, which is the one that's just been playing, which has like... The 30 samples and stuff. I think basically just to test them. Obviously, you're not going to want to use them in your production. Uh, I did one called Test, which are, uh, only has five loops, and I can rename uh, these and change the color of the the, the 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 little thing. So you can have everything color coded as well. So I like I it's just things like this. So if you have sort of a sci-fi thing going on there. Right now, what right the thing with on stage is that you it doesn't support Dropbox or nothing. You cannot build a scene from within the app itself. Okay, but that's not a problem. You can see that I've got the iPad um hooked up to the computer and I'm using iPhone box to manage uh manage the iPad. iPhone Box is brilliant. It's much better than iTunes. iPhone Box is completely free and it allows you to do things with uh, the files in your apps that you can't do with iTunes. So anyway, we've got this uh, on on the 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 um, file sharing section of iPhone Box and we just go and locate our on stage app and we click in. You can see that in uh, these folders here, we have our, our uh, thing. So if I click on test, there's the five-way files. Now, what you can't do with iTunes, but you can do with this, I could now just delete that particular file, okay, or delete the whole lot. So let's go up one level. So what we're gonna do is, this is very, very simple with iPhone box, okay? So all you need to do is copy from PC. We're gonna build a new scene now. So copy from PC. And uh, just that's the folder I'm going to use, but let me just go up on to show you what it is. I assembled some WAV files and I just called it on stage samples. 
not, not, no need to do anything else. I didn't need to change file extensions like you'd need to do if you were going to drop this into iTunes. There is a version of the program for Mac which makes things easier, I think. But I, I haven't got a Mac. I use PC. So anyway, inside my onstage samples, I had these five waves of stuff that I'd done and uh, things that I'd put together years ago. We've been knocking around for years. So anyway, what all I'm going to do is select all five of them and then just click open and it will put them here and then from inside the app here I'm gonna just create a new folder and I'm just gonna rename it ghost okay so there we have our ghost file folder and I'm just gonna select all five of these now and obviously I'm gonna drop them into there now you'll see that they're still there but don't worry as soon as we open ghost you'll see that they're there and if we go up a level again you'll see that they've gone and we've still got our file and if we open our file here you'll see that ghost has now appeared in our onstage app so we open the show and here we have ghost now if i um for, for instance there was some little bits and pieces here that i've done so I'll start off with some, um, let's see, wind. I'll just take the levels down a little bit here. And I'll get that to loop. So after it's 1 minute 45 seconds, it'll loop. don't worry, it's not going to go on for that long. But here we go. So here's our, our wind, and here's our spooky music. And then what we can do now is drop our thunder in. To, I mean, obviously, you'll, you'll play maybe an hour or so, you know. But the point is you could have loads and loads of these triggered in whenever you like without the hassle of CD plays and MP3 plays and stuff. Now, if I was the actor on stage now, and I could put some uh, theatre reverb on my voice the, the reverb on my voice by the way is through the mix and not, not the program but you can see welcome people welcome to the story of the child ghost anyway so you get the idea and then we could have an evil laugh <laughs> some rain <laughs> now we can pan. Okay. So guys, you get the idea. You build your 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 show on your on your computer with whatever waves you like. Grab iPhone Box, which is completely free, and you won't regret it. It's it's incredible. Um, it allows you to take all the samples you don't want out of stuff like BM2, Cubasis, just get rid of them. Uh, saves up space on your iPad and everything. Easy to drop stuff in, as you've just seen, and uh, no no hassle at all. So on stage, I think, is an incredibly useful program for people putting on stage presentations of any of any kind, you know, for schools or big theatres and stuff. And it just takes up one channel on your mixer, so you're left with your microphones and whatever else, or your band or, or what have you. And it's a great way to add background ambience and, and all the special effects and stuff that you need during your show from one place uh, that you can see very easily. All right, guys, I hope you find this useful. I'll see you later.